dear students welcome to s dot math guru classes so our main discussion is linear partial differential equation with constant coefficient so if we get a right hand side is non zero uh, exponential then no problem trigonometry sin and cos no problem if we have polynomial then what we we have to find the particular integral so I consider one rule if this is the linear partial differential equation f of d d dash z equal to f of x y and if we get f of x y equal to for finding particular integral f of x y is given phi of a x plus b y so this one given so if this order is n partial differential equation order n then we putting in place of d is a and d dash is b and we integrate this one n times so this is we write ax plus by ax plus by is u this is phi u du 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 n times this is the rule what is the order if order is n we have to integrate n times if it is polynomial function now case of failure if we when we putting this a b if this result is zero the given equation this phi of ax plus by if in case if we putting a b in place of d d dash then if the result is zero then we differentiate partially this one with respect to d and multiplying by x multiplying by x we get this uh, we, we get a result and again we putting a b again if this result again a, a b is zero then again we differentiate partially with respect to d second time again if we get zero then again we differentiate again zero then we have we have to differentiate in this way we differentiate m times this is the rule so if denominator is zero then we get in this in the this is the rule d del del d is this is the rule and first time zero then we put uh, multiplying by x numerator and differentiating with respect to d partially again if we get zero f of a b equal to zero then again we multiplying x in numerator and differentiating partially with respect to d in this way we differentiate this is the rule if right hand side polynomial if not not equal to zero then no problem directly find particular integral so now we consider one problem solve del square z del x square plus del square z del x del y minus 6 del square z del a y square equal to x plus y now solution we want to solve this problem this is we write d square plus d d dash x square means we write d square x y for x del x we write d and del y this is d dash 6 d dash square z equal to x plus y so auxiliary equation this is m square m into 1 6 into 1 square equal to 0 so you putting d equal to m and d dash equal to 1 for finding auxiliary equation this implies m square plus m minus 6 equal to 0 so if we factorize this is m square twice m minus twice m minus 6 equal to 0 m common m plus 3 minus 2 common m plus 3 equal to 0 m plus 3 m minus 2 equal to 0 m plus 3 equal to 0 m minus 2 equal to 0 m equal to minus 3 m equal to 2 we get this therefore complementary function equal to f1 y minus phi 6 f2 y plus twice x this are complementary function now particular integral particular integral 
pi this is 1 by d square d d dash minus 6 dash this is x plus y we get this now in place of x coefficient is 1 y coefficient 1 in place of d we putting 1 1 is square 1 into 1 minus 6 into 1 this is square and this is double integration u du 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 where u means x plus y u means x plus y we get this double integration this one so this is 1 by 1 plus 1 minus 6 if we integrate 1 times then u square by 2 du and this is minus 4 and this one 2 outside e v square du and minus 1 by 8 again integrate this u cube by 3 this one and this is minus 1 by 24 u means x plus y whole to the power 3 we get this one so this is our particular integral therefore the required solution is z equal to cf plus pi complementary function plus particular integral z equal to cf means f1 y minus 3x plus f2 y plus twice x and pi minus 1 by 24 x plus y whole cube and this is our final answer z equal to f1 y minus 3x f2 y plus 2x and minus x minus x plus y whole cube by 24 this is the final answer and these are now we consider another problem solve d square plus 2 d d, d dash minus 8 d square z equal to root over twice x plus 3y now solution we write this uh, first we write auxiliary equation auxiliary equation equal to m square plus twice m into 1 8 into 1 square equal to 0 this implies m square plus twice m minus 8 equal to 0 then m square plus 4 m minus twice m minus 8 equal to 0 m m plus 4 minus 2 m plus 4 equal to 0 m plus 4 m minus 2 equal to 0 m equal to minus 4 m equal to 2 we get this one therefore complementary function complementary function equal to f1 y plus twice x f2 y minus 4x we get this now we have to find particular integral particular integral is this left hand side d square plus twice d d dash minus 8 d dash square and this is twice x plus 3y and this will be 1 by d square plus 2 d d dash minus 8 d square d dash square this is twice x 
प्लस थ्री वाई टू दि पावर हाफ वी गेट नाउ दिस ऑर्डर इज टू सो इंटीग्रेट टू टाइम्स एंड इन प्लेस अफ दि उ पुटिंग टू एंड इन प्लेस अफ दि रेस उ पुटिंग थ्री बिकज कपिशियंट अफ एक्स टू एंड कपिशियंट अफ वाई इज थ्री सो कपिशियंट अफ एक्स पुटिंग इन प्लेस अफ डि एंड कपिशियंट अफ वाई इन प्लेस अफ दि रेस वन बै टू स्कोर टू इंटु टू इंटु थ्री एट इंटु थ्री स्कोर and this is double integration uh u to the power 1 by 2 du du where u means twice x plus 3y we get this and this is 1 by 4 plus 12 Minus seventy-two, eight into nine seventy-two. If we integrate one times, then u to the power three by two by three by two du. So half plus one, half plus one. We get this. This is sixty and sixty. Ah, uh, if we uh, subtract this is sixty, sixty minus this, this is fifty-six. Minus fifty six. This is two by three integration u to the power three by two du. And this one twenty eight minus one by twenty eight one by three. If we integrate this, this is three plus three by two plus one three by two plus one. This is five by two five by two. We get this. So this will be minus one by twenty eight, one by three, and two by five, u to the power five by two. And if we cancelling this, this is fourteen, fourteen to five seventy seventy. This is two, one by two one zero, and u means twice x plus thrice y. To the power five by two, this one we get. Therefore, the required solution solution is z equal to complementary function plus particular integral. This implies z equal to complementary function f one. Y plus twice x plus f two y minus four x minus one by two one zero twice x plus three y to the power five by two, and this is our final answer. So z equal to f one y plus twice x plus f two y minus four x minus one by two hundred ten. Twice x plus three y to the power five by two. This is our solution. If right hand side polynomial given, we want to we solve in this way. This is the rule. So there are students today. I want to stop here. If you are getting interest, then please like this video. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.